Good day, Merry Meet. My name is Glennis and I am the Witch of Whitetail Hollow. I want to warmly welcome you to my channel. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. I have been owing you guys a video and the reality is, is I have been so crazy busy lately. If it's not doing construction work, <laughs> then I'm doing doctor's appointments and things like that. So it has been just an ongoing, you know, back and forth kind of thing. And then my regular work, it's just, I, I don't know what to say, but I, if you've just found my channel, I hope you subscribe and hit the notification bell. I try so hard to upload as often as I can, but sometimes life just is like that. But what I'm going to share with you today is just a wee bit of a video I wanted to make. I have been thrifting over the past few months, and I haven't been going as often as I would like, although I've been going a little bit more often. Uh, I've just been so busy. Um, but um, it's a wee bit of a chatty video, so if that's not your thing, then... I'm so glad you stopped by anyway, but if this is something that you're interested in, I hope that you will join me. But I've done some Dollar Tree, I've done some thrifting, and then I've done some online and other online, and it's just a, kind of just a, a little bit of everything, a hodgepodge of everything. But some, the, what I want to start off with is Dollar Tree, my Dollar Tree treasures. <laughs> and the reason I start off with them is because your Dollar Tree may not have what my Dollar Tree has. I, I know that I have watched a lot of videos, Dollar Tree hauls, and I'm going, oh, you know, and their recent videos there, it's not like they're old videos. And I'm like, oh, this is great. I've got to go to my Dollar Tree and find that. I must have that. <laughs> and my Dollar Tree won't have it. And I've got two close by and neither one will have it. So I don't know if it's a regional thing. I don't know, you know. But nevertheless, I bought a few things from there. And one thing that you can always use, always pick up because... I seem to misplace mine, <laughs> is these strainers. Now, this is the smallest one. I think I bought three of different sizes, but you can always use a strainer. If you're not working with oils or something like that, then certainly you can use these in the kitchen. I, Like I said, I'm forever losing these things. And I have a very bad habit. I think I have one smaller than this that I just left in a big canister of my confectioner sugar. And again, that's just to dust a little bit over some French toast and things like that, you know, just for a little, little, little shooshing. And the other thing I bought was, you know, these, these little cardboard boxes. And they're, this one, I just love the shape. I really like the colors and it just kind of made me feel a little bit more springish. I think you guys can see. And I've got Dawn's thistle in here that I still have got to get a small um, vase for. The next thing I bought is a, um, a lotus framed mirror. And again, it's a dollar, but I like, I don't mind the color so much but I love to incorporate the lotus, the shape of lotus. And my, now my Dollar Tree has started carrying command, like these 3M products. I bought, although I didn't really need these. If you go to the big box stores to find these, these are like two, three, four dollars each. So even though I didn't really need them, I know at some point I'm going to need them, so I grabbed a couple of these. And now you guys know I, I, I'm not very good at it, <laughs> but I do enjoy crafting. So I do go into the craft area, and I found this, and I've never seen anything like it. And I don't know 
what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> but it looked like a lot of fun. And it is, it's a, a crafter's square stencil wheel. So, yeah, I'm not really sure, you know, how they expect that I'm going to use it. But, you know what? It looked like fun. <laughs> it looked like a little bit of fun, and there's no directions or anything on it, so I guess I'm going to have to just wing it. But uh, when I get a spare moment, I'll probably do a, a bit of stenciling. And some of the other things that I found, and when I bought a, a pair of uh, little pattern scissors, and again, that's one of those things, don't know what I, I have a use for, but I've got it now, you know. <laughs> and now, I bought these after sale one, and I think they were either half off or 75% off, and I just, I just, if I can find them, I'm going to grab them because I'm going to have two very large, a very large glass wall uh, facing the creek at the hollow when I do get there. And although I, and I don't really care to have birds flying into my windows, but what I did, and I have it here too, these are not the, like the, the gel clings like you see. These are just like this. I've got the owls, and I've got these, and I have these. So when I am living there, I will put them throughout, you know, my sliding glass doors to, that helps the, the birds visualize, okay, that's, you know, my stopping point. There, there's, you know, it helps them recognize it instead of it looking like ch trees to fly through. So I stocked up on these. And now some, only a, a couple of you know, I have recently had uh, a dentist appointment. I am the world's worst dental patient. The worst. Years and years and years ago, I had to have some work done. And this, this was here in Nashville. And I had been seeing this dentist, and he had tolerated me. And the last time I saw him, I said, okay, well, we're going to have this particular work done the next time I come, which is six months. And I know I'm probably flattering myself, but in between that time and the sixth month, I went back, and he decided to retire early. <laughs> So that kind of gives you an idea. He would have rather have retired early than have me back in his office. But no, really, probably not. But I um, was recently, and which is why I went to the Dollar Tree, because I was on my way to the dentist. And I said, you know, I'm going to just burn a little bit of time. And my mouth tasted weird, and, you know. And so I picked up, I, I was actually checking out. And I picked up this gum. It's fruit stripe gum. And for those of you who are as old as me or older, this is a you know a very old brand. And so I I said, well, you know, I'll chew just I don't really chew gum, but I'll just, you know, chew a little bit of gum. And so I did, and it didn't taste like fruit at all. <laughs> and it was barely sweet. So that was kind of a a big, a little bit of a letdown, and I, I'll probably just wind up throwing it away. And and then I said, well, I'll I'll find something that makes me feel, you know, give me a little bit of childhood comfort, right? So I I, I have always loved the little boxes of animal crackers. So I, I'll get some animal crackers. I picked up the animal crackers. I was so disappointed, guys. I realize nothing can stay the same. I totally know this because, I mean, we all evolve. But I really, really wanted to, the animal, the box of animal crackers to have like, I don't know if you guys remember the little string. Well, it's a little cardboard now. I was so let down. And I mean, the graphics have changed here. And I mean, I don't mind that so much. I was really wanting the little string. So if you guys, 
same one with a little string get it for me <laughs> but I was so disappointed I didn't even open it it just for me it wasn't the same so that was kind of like you know but Dollar Tree has up their game a wee bit and I'm sure that you've bought the organizers I had another one here somewhere <laughs> I don't know where um, but they have up their game a little bit with their organizers I have one here and not only do I like the the print a little bit better the colors at least it's not black neon pink or neon green or something like that this is a little bit more eye friendly visual friendly so I bought a few pieces of this and so I don't know if you use these in your office um, in your kitchen area or in your craft area like I do but they've upped their game a little bit put a few gray ones out and definitely visually more appealing so thank you for that Dollar Tree now oh yeah this this is the other one it is a little bit darker gray but again they they kind of did a pattern like it was a basket weave don't worry about these things here but um that's my dollar tree i believe that's my dollar tree yeah but now i have been going thrifting some and actually this piece is a thrift find and i was attracted to it because it looks like an old hanky and it is i don't know if it's old but it look it's an old hanky in between panes of glass i don't really know if you can see the pattern and i really really liked it and of course it has you know a door that opens um and i didn't care if it was old or not to be honest because in the hollow when i finally finish um i'm going to have a library and it's going to be just on that side of a very very large living room living area and um i'm going to have just a total wall of nothing but built-in bookcases and so i thought this would be pretty just to put a little bit of a glow in there and it turns out it's pottery barn i also found now i do enjoy leaf magic and i also found a set of if i can get this together for you guys a set of placemats and it has in in a script you know names of leaves and things like that so i don't know if i'm going to use this in fact as a placemat probably will with uh some antique brass uh, deer for my centerpiece and things like that but uh, I don't know if I'm going to actually decoupage this on a table or a shelf or what, but I'm going to do something with it. And uh, so, yeah, it's absolutely just beautiful. And they're brand spanking new. They still have the paper, paper tags on them. I don't know what brand it is. And to me, it doesn't really matter. They're brand new. And I love the colors in them. And again, a lot of these things I find at thrift, like this, this, are 4 or $5 or less. I never, 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 <laughs> never spend, unless it's a big, huge mirror. I mean, a big, huge mirror or something like that. I, I simply, I'm not going to spend that kind of money at thrift. And then I get 20% off on top of that. But I've, I've got that. Now, I got that at thrift. And I also, and I know I, I, I know Yule is over. <laughs> I know Yule is over, and so is Salwin. But I pack everything up very, very well. And I bought this for Yule. Now, those of you who do know, I grew up along the Gulf Coast, and very often at Christmas times, it was tank tops 
shorts, sandals, and you're running the air conditioner. Well, to me, that's not really Christmas, <laughs> but now I guess I spent so many hot and humid Christmases that now my living room is basically a winter wonderland. Anything ice, frosty, uh, woodland creatures is going in my living room. But to me, this looks, you know, it's just beautiful. It's just like a, someone chipped away some ice. And so I bought these. And I also bought these for next Samhain. Definitely, I definitely buy bought those because I do like to have a little drink or two, and I still I actually still have the tag on this. I have not used this yet. I found now I didn't find this in the purse section. I found this someone had just picked it up and tossed it on a shelf somewhere, and I was attracted to the colors first. And this is a brand new Vera Bradley. Again, this was this was five ninety nine minus twenty percent, but it's brand spanking new, an authentic Vera Bradley, and it's a little bit smaller than <laughs> what I normally carry. But this is not something I would carry every day. This is just something if I was going out to dinner, if it coordinated with what I was wearing, something like that. And I don't own any other Vera Bradley, but it seemed like it might be okay. <laughs> and the other thing I bought at Thrift is this is place masks, but they're the cork lined placemats. And the again, these are the woodland creatures, which is what I'm going in the hollow. And I, you know, kind of like the purse. I kind of liked the colors. And it's something that's going to be going throughout my new house. And yes, I just loved my, I love my woodland creatures. And I've, I've been buying books. I, I can't explain to you why. I don't really have a lot of time. But this one is... Now, some of you may know, some of you may not. But I really, really enjoy trivia. So if there's a pub, a bar that's having trivia night, I'm going to be the first one to say, Yay! You know, let me play too. Because I love trivia. But now this book, I think it was all of 50 cents or something like that. And it is fascinating facts for trivia buffs. It's why do some shoes squeak and 568 other popular questions answered. Of course, you know, I have to Google verify <laughs> this. But um, this is one of those books that I can pick up. And if I've got 10 minutes to read, then I'll take that 10 minutes and read a little bit, 15 minutes, you know, something like that. So it's not a, like an ongoing thing. The other book I bought, of course, is a child's book. And what attracted me to it is its age. And I don't know, I guess I should tell you its age. This is The Wonderful Tree House by Harold Longman. Um, 1962. So this is this is a, a book I could have possibly been reading, but I think what attracted me are the colors and the illustrations. I have not read it yet. I probably will soon, <laughs> but um, yeah, just the colors and the illustrations and the fact that it's a library book and very well. You can, you can just tell it's just well-loved. And the fact that it says discarded kind of made me feel terrible. I said, oh, you just, you know, a, a discarded library book. And, you know, it, it has definitely seen better days. 
but all of the pages are intact. It hasn't been written in or anything like that. But um, yeah, it's just a lovely book and one I'm going to enjoy reading to the grandchildren. Of course, there's a couple of them that are probably too old for this, but uh, that's okay. That's all right. It's all a, a matter of putting uh, one of those big quilts in the middle of the library floor and being able to sit down and spend time with your grandchildren. They may be too old for it, but you give them enough cookies <laughs> and yeah, they, they'll enjoy it. They're going to have a good time. And I, this one, it's my big book of fairy tales. Now, I wasn't necessarily attracted to it because of the colors and, and things like that. Look at that. I opened to a witch. <laughs> Imagine me doing that. And I mean, I do like, but these are all, you know, old fashioned fairy tales. I have not, again, this is one of these books I have not read yet, but the reason I bought it, of course, for the grandchildren, and I'm sure that they have books. I know they have books, but I was thinking surely somewhere in here, there is something that is going to offend someone. And I just had to have it just had to have it. I mean, there you go. And I also bought, <laughs> you guys know I've been trying to eat right and exercise and walk and do all of that. I found, of course, I've still got the sticker on it from our thrift store, but I bought Carmen Electra's Aerobic Strip Tease. I figured there's, that will help get me moving and it will also help with a couple of my chakras. <laughs> and so, I ha again, I have not put this on to exercise to it yet. So, aerobic striptease. So, I bought that. I said, well, you know what? Why not, right? I also, now this is not from the good, not from my thrift store. But I bought a rice tin. Oh, wrong way. A rice tin. And I'm not, I, I could, but I don't want anyone to, to get kerfuffled about it. But I bought this at an antique store. And I have several other tins. I have like a saltine, you know, square tin for the saltine crackers. I have a Morton salt tin and so I have you know a few tins that I keep together I don't have a lot but I'm adding that to my tins and let's see now I have been now some of you may know I have been doing a lot of construction work and I will try I will try so hard to put up a thumbnail for you guys um, but I have been using power tools and tearing things out I've been in major demo mode major demo mode and I have an area now I have absolutely demoed the kitchen everything that was there is gone gone <laughs> gone gone but what was next to the kitchen was a dining room. Well, I'm turning that into an entry. I'm tearing out a window and it's going to be a door. So it's going to be my formal entry for my sideboard and an entry table, a chandelier. And over on the other side, close to the kitchen, there is, and I've left those cabinets in there. I've left the countertop intact. And the upper cabinets, uh, I believe it probably was like a dry bar or what I'm going to turn into my coffee bar. But I, I started to tear all of the cabinets out. And I said, you know, no, I'm going to just leave this because you can't even see the cabinets that's going to happen in the kitchen. 
but what I'm going to do is I'm going to redo the countertop. Now I could take the countertop off and have them fabricate a countertop that will match my island and my kitchen area. And then I said, you know, no, I said, that's probably really, really custom because it's, it's not as deep as a regular kitchen countertop. Um, I said, I'm going to do, I'm going to just do this myself. I'm not very crafty, but when it comes to um, things like decoupage, when it comes to tearing out showers, <laughs> I got that. So when I was thrifting, I found this curtain and it was 50% off of $3.99 and then I got 20% off of that. So I got a good price. <laughs> I got a good price. Don't ask me about math. I got a good price. But what I'm going to do, and this fabric is thin enough, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and of course cut it to size and I'm going to decoupage it on top of that counter. Now that particular counter does not have that little four inch backsplash it is just a counter that goes flat to the wall but I'm going to be using this to decoupage on top of that counter I figured if people are decoupaging tabletops and you know different things like that because you know there it, there's not a sink there I figured I could do it here and these are the predominant colors that are going to be happening all throughout the house is grays, a little bit dark gray and yellow and off whites and things like that. So when you open the door, the door is going to open like this. The coffee bar is that way so the first thing you'll see is going this way will be a sideboard now the artwork that hangs above the sideboard has a wee bit just a wee bit of yellow in it and a lot of the gray it's a very very old uh, like a charcoal etching done in the 1920s way back way 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 back when girls and I guess guys would have parties and dress in togas and you know the, the wreath on their head you know just like they're Greek and would have parties and they would have people come in and do drawings of them in their in their toga wear and so this particular piece of artwork is a lady from gosh way way back when and uh, it's got a little bit of yellow in it and it's just a beautiful beautiful piece so you'll see the yellow you'll start to see these colors immediately when you walk into the room and as your eye travels because your eye will always travel to the right you'll see a bit of blue way back there and then it'll travel on to the right because your eyes will always scan a room <clears throat> and you'll see this so, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. But yes, decoupage. Now, the, the, upper, the upper part of the cabinets is that icky, icky, <laughs> icky uh, plastic stained glass. I don't know if I'm going to just break it out and back it. It's just in a, like a rectangle but I don't know if I'm going to bust it out and use hardware cloth behind it or if I'm going to find a piece of lace or something that would kind of coordinate with this and decoupage it just right on top of that. So I don't know, but all of the cabinets are going to get painted. All of the hardware is going to get changed out. It's not going to look anything like what it looks like now. And that's going to be one of my projects uh, 
as far as decor is concerned because the rest of it putting up ceilings putting in floors that's not exactly you know decor related but something like this but what i'm going to do before i do this on a countertop i think you can see all of the shelves here i have painted and i could probably get away with leaving them be but what I'm going to do in the next couple of days, I'm going to go to, I think, a, a big box store, like Hobby Lobby, something like that, and find a fabric that is kind of comparable to this, and not, not necessarily the pattern and the color, but the weight of it. And I'm going to start covering, if I've only got four shelves. And so I'm going to go and pick out and start, and I'm going to decoupage those just kind of as a test and to see how it does and to go from there. But no matter what, this is going to go on that countertop, and it's going to be absolutely fabulous. It is going to be a beautiful beautiful thing now I'm only I've only got a couple of more things I know you're thinking you got a couple of more things now this one thing I will just set this right here this one thing is one of those things that I don't know how many of you are on Facebook and I'm only recently on Facebook but that's one of these ads that on Facebook where you could customize uh, like your name, dates, you know, things like that. And you guys know I'm going to open a shop after I retire. <laughs> I'm going to open my own shop. And although it's not all going to be um, metaphysical items, there's going to be quite a few there. And I'm going to be growing my own herbs and selling my own dried herbs and a few different things. But I had this printed up. I'm not really quite sure. Maybe I need to go this way. It says Glenis's Apothecary. And oh, going the wrong way. And I figured establish 2020 because that was quite the year to remember. It was. And the last thing that I have, I kind of fashioned this together. So I know it's not perfect, but it will do for now. Now, when I first moved back to the States, I lived in my hometown. And for some reason, at that point in time, my mom decided, I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff <laughs> and give it to you, right? And so for years and years, it, as long as I can remember, there was a, a picture of me. I must have been, I'm, I'm guessing, I have no idea how old I was, four or five maybe. And she, it, it, that picture has never been framed, ever. And she just grabbed it out from the secretary that I have in my living room. And she says, here, take this. I'm like, okay you know, and when I had a really great opportunity career-wise to come to this area, but the company that was moving me said, well, we'll move you, but you have a weight limit, <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm the last person that needs a weight limit on, my, on transporting my stuff, and so I was throwing away as many things as possible. I mean, I'm talking printers and, you know, things like, oh, I'll just get a new, better one, right? And, I mean, I, I had a proverbial junkyard just set out for the garbage people. But after I moved, back, moved here, and I, I started to look for the picture, and I couldn't find it anywhere. And I said, oh my gosh, did I, you know, put it inside like a large atlas book? You know, thinking, well, just, you know, keep it flat for lack of anything else. And so I went through all of my books 
I went through just absolutely everything I knew to look through. And I said, you know what? I bet I've thrown it away. I bet that's the, I mean, that's the only, it's not like I can get it reprinted from a, anything else. And I said, well, you know, if it got thrown away, I guess it's still in my hometown where I guess it needed to be, right? So for 15 years, I have been thinking it's gone, right? And now some of you know, I have a photo of my mother in like a frame with bubble glass. It's glass that bows out. Um, so I was going through some of my stuff because I'm starting to move the things that I have in storage up in storage at the hollow because it's going to be there anyway. And so I started to started pulling things and I had, and I still have a silhouette that I had done of my son. Well, the silhouette, of course, his head is not this big, but was framed like this. And so I, I gather, I said, well, that's, that's nice. And I, and I moved it and right below it was my photo. And I said, oh my gosh, after 16 years of me thinking all this time and being kind of mad at myself and, you know, why weren't you more careful and, you know, things like that. And but there it was. And I said, well, okay, now I've got to go to the antique store and get a frame for it that is appropriate. Well, I've, I found the frame, no problem. And then I had to buy a mat because it desperately needed to be matted because of the frame. So, <laughs> so it's just been just kind of like one thing after another. But um, now this has been framed by me, so please, <laughs> it is not professionally done, but this is the photo, it's bad glare guys, sorry, that has been lost all this time. And I, I started to look and I recognize and I remember very well the dress that I have on here. But as I started looking at it, and I've seen it years and years and years, all right? And as I started looking at it, I said, oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know if I was ahead of my time with my bangs or whether this is just a really poor, poor job that my mother did on my bangs. But take a look at that chop job. I think you guys can see it. Oh my goodness. What was my mother thinking? What was my mother thinking? But you know what? Bless her heart. She, she, that was probably, I guess, the very best that she could do and with especially with a four or five year old that probably did not and still can't sit still i want to thank you guys so much for joining me today i hope you were happy healthy and well mary part and i hope to marry me again goodbye guys <laughs>